Hey guys, Shane here with Hangar 8 Media. Today we're going to finish up our oil change on general aviation aircraft. This is part three of three. So today we're going to wrap up. We're going to get our 1977 Piper Archer 2 named Archie finished up and get it back in the air. So hang with us and we'll show you the rest. Here's our magnet. Look for any metal particles. See anything on it? Now we'll cut the filter open. So we cut our filter open and look at it under a magnifying glass and look for some metallic particles. If we see anything that's shiny, it looks like metallic particles, we can run a, a clean magnet. And uh, we did that, didn't find anything that was metallic. So filter looks pretty good. Like I said, one of the reasons why we like the Tempest filters is because it has this magnet built in the back so it will trap any metallic particles. And again, when I opened it up, uh, the magnet was clean. Uh, we didn't find any metallic particles on it. So we're good to go. This goes in the garbage. This now is a good candidate for another light. And I have one more I'm going to go ahead and cut open. That way we've got another for a light. So fun, fun. Make sure that our oil sample is sealed tightly. And we also give it a second layer of protection here. We wrap pig mat around it just in case for some unexpected reason that it did come loose, the pig mat will absorb the oil. And then we'll put our paperwork in here with it as well. Seal the container and go get our postage and fill this out. And then I'll always put some clear tape across it just to seal the lid as well. We finished the oil change. We put the airplane back together after ground running it. We cut open our oil filter and inspected it. Everything looks good. Um, we've recycled our oil. Make sure we recycle our old used oil bottles. Those will go home with me and go in the recycle bin at home because we don't have one here. I always keep a new bottle of oil in the airplane. It's in a Ziploc bag so it doesn't leak out. So we carry this along with us in the back of the airplane. We have filled out everything for our Blackstone Laboratories to have an oil inspection done. And uh, we'll mail this one off and I'll share the results. And 
last thing before we go fly is we've actually got to fill out our engine log. And this is the log book for Archie. I'll show you how to do that. Now we've got to fill out our log book. Put the date, our tack time, our obs time, uh, that we change the oil and filter, what type of oil and filter we used, that we inspected our filter for contaminants, we we're sending the oil or a sample to Blackstone Labs, how much oil, uh, sign it, and then put my name, and then also lastly, I put my pilot number, and this is my FAA pilot uh, certificate, and this is because I'm an owner of this airplane, so under FAA Part 43, certain things that pilots can do, and one of them is change the oil. So now that this is all done, we're legal to fly the airplane. After a test flight, then we can haul passengers. So in our far aim, this is a printed book. I still hang on to it just because it's old. I like to keep a paper reference, but you can find everything online now, so much easier. We'll go through a video specifically on part 43, which is everything you can do as an airplane owner to your own airplane, and we'll cover all of that. If there's anything that we don't have, let us know. And then last, here's what our old oil filter cans look like when we're done. Make these into a lamp. It's an LED lamp, and it's a real one. It's got safety wire on it. It's pretty cool. I've got one of these on my desk at work. And uh, supposedly, you know, it says long-lasting LED, no bulb ever change. If you'd like one, just go to my website at hangar8media.com and we'll have them for sale on there. If you have your oil filter can, uh, make sure you send it to me clean, but you can send it to me and I'll make a lamp out of your oil filter can. This wraps it all up. I'm going to take Archie out and go do a test flight solo. I can't carry any passengers until we've confirmed that everything's good to go. I want to thank everybody for watching. Once again, make sure you hit the like button down below. Subscribe to our channel. Please, please, please share our videos with all your friends and family. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please drop them down below. If it's something you'd like to see, throw a comment down below. I'd love to hear some uh, topics that you'd like to see videos on. And from Hangar 8 Media, thanks everybody and have a great day.